Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna try it. Our top 10 oils in 10 minutes. So here we go. First of all, what I wanna share with you is this. This is an introduction to essential oils. If you have been watching and kind of trying to figure out what are these essential oils about, I wanted to come today and just share a little bit about the top 10. The top 10 is how most of us get started because it hits about 80% of the issues that come up in your home for pennies a drop. If you are interested and want to learn more after you watch this, I'm gonna be doing an online class this week on Wednesday evening and we would love to have you join us. So, but here goes the top 10 in 10 minutes, I hope. All right, first of all, we cannot, we just have to start with On Guard. This is the oil that I use and diffuse and apply all day, every day, you guys, for, it's been almost six years now since I started using essential oils. Um, it's been about five since I've been educating on them, but here goes. So this little bottle is absolutely, first of all, it smells like baked apples, but it's going to kill all the germs and all the stuff that is floating around aromatically and topically, you guys. So we put this on the bottom of our feet. Um, we add this to our diffusers every single day. Aromatically, it's gonna go in. Your body is going to absorb this. It's going to encapsulate the virus or germ, and it's gonna help your body fight it off. Your body was designed to naturally fight off all the stuff, okay? So I put this in our masks. We have it in our hand sanitizer. Um, we use it to put on apples. It is amazing and clean your countertops. I also like to add it to our laundry um, so that it has an extra layer of killing all the germs. Okay, so that's On Guard. The next one is Lemon. You guys, Lemon is all thing cleansing. Um, I put it in my water every single day. It's detoxing to the liver. It tastes amazing. Um, and it's also great for cleansing your body cleansing your stainless steel. Um, I love it on my dryer balls and my laundry. I make it with my baked chicken. It is literally lemon, you guys, and it also helped me cut sugar. Great for sugar cravings. Um, so, and it smells so good. It smells so very, very good. All right, so that's lemon. There's a lot more, but that's the top. All right, Melaleuca or tea tree oil, you might know. This is all things topical. So poison ivy, rashes, itches, bug bites. Um, this is your oil that you wanna go to. Head lice, if ever kids get back in school, this is awesome to use. It's also great for cleansing and for your skin. I actually use it to make um, a cleanser for my laundry. I add this with lemon and On Guard and vinegar to um, make one more level of cleaning. So this is anything topical, it is great to use for that. Lavender, so this is all things soothing. It's actual, an it is actually an antihistamine, a natural one. So we use lemon, lavender, and peppermint in our diffusers for the seasonal allergies and the coughs and colds and all the pollen. It just opens up your airways and it's a natural form and you can take it internally also. But lavender is great for bug bites, you guys. If you get a sunburn or bug bite or you actually burn your skin, Add a little bit of lavender with a carrier oil, like fractionated coconut oil, put it on topically, it's gonna heal it and take the burn out right away. It's great to add to your dryer balls or your laundry because it's soothing. We apply this on our feet at night and diffuse it and it's just all things soothing. It's really good to add to your mascara for longer natural lashes. You just put a drop in there. So that is lavender. Let's see, uh, frankincense. Okay, for those of you that know our story, um, this was the first oil that I really had an experience with when my mom was sick and a patient at Vanderbilt and had terrible burns. Frankincense was the oil. This is something that surpasses the blood-brain barrier, oxygenates your brain cells, and helps awaken you. It's an incredible healer. It's great, I just had my braces taken off. It's great to put on your gums if you're having pain. It's an instant pain reliever. It's amazing for migraines. Um, I used to suffer from ocular migraines and all I do now is just open the bottle. I don't really have them anymore because I put a drop under my tongue every day for cellular health. But if you just take a drop of it and press it on the roof of your mouth and hold it there for 15 seconds and put some on your temples, bye-bye headache. So that's amazing. Frank, if you are in doubt, get your frankincense out. This is like the king of oils on that one. Um, peppermint, oh my gosh, you guys, everything cooling. Headaches, fevers, hot flushes. 
Um, you just want to put it on the back of your neck. You can breathe it in. Um, if you have respiratory issues going on, you can just cup it in your over your mouth and take a breath. It is delightful. It's amazing. I just showed how to um, make a mocha uh, coffee today. It was wonderful. One little drop. It is really good in brownies, but I don't eat them anymore. Um, it's good in chocolate bark. You can add it for a natural deep cocoa chocolate bark. Um, I just, it's wonderful. It's just peppermint. It's soothing to the gut and the stomach, um, and it does help with headaches too. You can put it on your temple. It is in hot oil, so you wanna make sure you're not touching here or down here. Just warning on that one. Um, let's see. Um, this one is balance. You guys, this is a emotional, um, way to balance your emotions, right? You smell it, you breathe it in. Um, it's going to help your mind sort things. It's gonna calm it down. Kind of think about popcorn all over the place. This is just gonna calm your nervous system and your cells down and it smells amazing. Put it on your back of your neck, breathe it in, put it in your diffuser. Um, I keep with this with a citrus bliss um, and it's just my oil to go to to calm everything down when everything feels like it's overwhelming. Uh, digestion, you guys. So this is one of the oils that my grandson loves. He calls it his tummy oil, and it is anything digestive. So if you have acid reflux, you have an upset stomach, you ate too much Mexican food, you're feeling too full, you are having potty issues, um, this is your oil to go to. It has an instant relief. If you have acid reflux, you can apply it here on the back of your neck. Um, you can put it in your belly button, smooth it over your stomach. You are going to have instant relief from this one. It's also great on the bridge of your nose for snoring and it also has emotional um, benefits too that's the amazing part that you get kind of um, they have multi-functioning right some are good for emotional and some are good for physical and some are good for both so this is good for high anxiety also which is great um, deep blue you guys this was the second oil um, that really changed it for us I had an injury at the gym on my elbow and I could not write. Um, I guess they would call it tennis elbow, but it was from the gym. And uh, my doctor said, we're gonna have to do surgery. And I said, just give me two or three weeks to try to do this. And so what I did was, um, I just applied this to my elbow, deep blue. It's it's kind of like a healthy icy hot. It's gonna go into your um, tissue and sort of soothe it a little bit and start to heal it. Like inflammation is good because Inflammation is kind of your your cell and your body's way of saying, hey brain, let's put in some natural healing, let's get some pain reliever in there. But inflammation that stays too long can be chronic pain and disease and cause other issues. So um, when that starts, this is going to go in there, take out your inflammation. It's also amazing um, for a pre-workout. So when you go to work out and you're lifting weights or running, being able to apply a little bit of this um, onto your muscles is gonna warm them up, which prevents injury, and it's also gonna help your body um, break it down and build new muscle too. So anything pain, knees, joints, whatever that is, Deep Blue is the one to go. It is awesome. So that's our top 10 oils, you guys. I think I did it in 10 minutes. Yeah, under it. So um, there are three ways you can use it, aromatically, internally, and topically. So if you guys are interested in learning more, I have a link that you can jump in and attend our classes.